Hi, I'm Veronica at Stash. It's time to weave in those ends. I'm going to show you how. You should have two ends at least on a project. One where you finished and another one over where you started. So the trick to being able to weave it ends is first, always leave a long enough tail when you cut things off. A rookie mistake would be to cut it off too short and then you wouldn't have enough to weave in later. We don't want you to get into that pickle, so make sure you always leave a decent tail. So the next thing you need to do is grab a darning needle. I like a nice blunt tipped needle so it will go through things really nicely. I have this one already threaded. Now you do not have to double it like some sewing projects. You only need like a one third, two third roll. And pro tip, hold it by the eye of the needle so that it doesn't unthread itself. So if you look across here, we have this kind of like sort of ugly little bump and we want to hide it. So the first thing I'm going to do to minimize that is I'm going to hitch a ride in some of these stitches right along the edge. So I'm doing one, two, three. So you can see right there that I'm going through three of them. Oh, that's so satisfying. See how it's so much more even? It already looks better. So now we still have to weave in those ends. And what we're going to do is we're now going to pop through to the other side. So I am just going to, I came up right here. I'm just going to pop through a nearby stitch to the back of the work because this is the front. And then I'm going to flip it over. So now we have lots of bumps to work with. And the beauty of weaving in the answers, it's very forgiving. And if you work on the wrong side, it should stay on the wrong side. So what I like to do is I like to go through a pearl. I just want to show you something. See how bright this is? You cannot even see it on the other side. The needle isn't even peeking through. So when you work on the wrong side of your work, it's really disguised. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down and then hairpin back up. So I'm going through a stitch here. I'm just constantly going down to the next one. I like to go through at least four to six stitches at an angle. So it's hard to see, but I came down through these stitches here. And now I'm going to double back and go up through three or four stitches. And I can even do it all at once. One, two, three, four. That was super fancy. I'm still trying to stay away from the edge because when you weave in your ends like this, you can't see it on the other side. You do not need any knots. It feels crazy the first time you do it, but it's a true story. And I like to cut it off so it's like a little tiny pinky height, kind of sticking out. But when you pull, it's going to get sucked in anyways. And so that's one end woven. I stayed away from the edges. I stayed away from the button pulls. I came down through the three sides, came down at an angle, and hairpin turned back up. That's how I weave in my ends.